Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another advent calendar unboxing. So if you couldn't tell, today we have the Cadillac 2022 advent calendar. I will be opening every single box in this calendar today on camera. So if you don't want spoilers, and I will be showing the swatch photos as well. So, you know, if you extra don't want spoilers, exit out now because I don't want to spoil your fun on this. Uh, really quickly before we crack into this guy. This went on sale in September as a pre-order from, I believe, 916 to 925. There were two options you could choose from, a 12-piece for $175 and a 24 piece for I believe 350. I got the 12 piece cause I knew I wanted a bunch of other advent calendars and the 24 piece was a little too rich for my blood. Um, but this contains 12 full size polishes in a variety of finishes and the price versus the number of items breaks down to $14.58 per item. This was sold by several stockists and I got mine from What's Up Beauty. I have a few from this brand and I really like their glitter slash jelly combos. I feel like they knock it out of the park with the color combos. They do a really good job. I have a feeling there will be some thermals included because they seem to really love doing thermals and I did know that going into this so I won't be shocked by it. But as you guys know, I typically don't purchase thermals on my own, not because I dislike them, but because they just don't get shown enough love in my collection before they do kind of bite the bullet. So with all that said, let's get into it. I feel kind of bad busting into this because it is so nicely wrapped. Are you guys like a present terror or are you like somebody who is really careful when you open gifts? I am like one of those people who I don't shred the paper, not because I want to keep it, but I just, I don't know, I don't like making a huge mess. So it looks like all the boxes are numbered. Uh, what? Oh, is it evens? Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. Well, that was confusing. Okay, so I thought it was gonna be like one through 12, but it's two to 24 in increments of two. I didn't know that's how that was. Um, so I guess the other half is like one to 23 in increments of two as well. But like, did everybody who ordered the 12 piece get the same box or do some people get the other like is there two variations i guess i don't know let's stop asking questions and open up box number two that's a weird i don't know why that bothers me that's a weird move all right let's oh not a strong start oh they don't even have names it's just called december 2nd oh man I don't like that. I like when they name them. Okay, this is a jelly, like a fire engine red jelly with red, looks like hollow glitter running through it. Definitely don't love that one, but we will swatch it. Moving on to day number four. And this is a thermal, it says on the cap. Oh, that's cute though. It's like a deep jelly purple and it has these green to blue flakies and then red tiny like are they hex glitters i think they're tiny hex glitters so it looks like little like holly or mistletoe or whatever it is in this really deep purple base i'm gonna go warm it up hang on okay you guys check this out all warmed up it is like this beautiful cornflower blue I love this. Oh man, it is so cold in this room. It's already going back. I went and warmed it up with my hair dryer, but I'm really liking that one. I better wear that a couple times. Day number six. Let's see. Oh, that is really pretty. It's a very, very light blue and it has these orangey kind of peppery reddish hex glitters and then it's got these iridescent flakies that are kind of flipping pink and orange and yellow i like i told you like the color combos that they do are just wild they're not like something that i would really think of and they just they work they hate let's see 
Oh, whoa. I love this. This is like, it's not even reading correctly on camera. It is like so orange. It's like Cheeto orange with like a yellow shimmer running through it. This is going to be the first one I swatch. I can already tell. I'm living for this. I didn't even know Cadillacer did shimmers like this. I only have their chunkier glitters. So I'm here for it. I wish they had names. Number 10. Ooh, a flaky bomb. I feel like polishes that look similar to this are very common on polish pickup, where it's kind of like a bronzy, metally color with these purple and black flakes. I like this. I don't know that I've really bought many. I like that the purple is, there's like a purple shimmer in there as well that is really reflecting back. It's very vibrant. Still, this is like, it's like orange Fanta, which makes me want an orange Fanta. Day number 12. Oh, we got another thermal according to the cap. Okay. So this is like a black jelly base with these kind of antique gold hex glitters. And I'm going to go heat this guy up and see what it turns into. So it turns into this kind of more aqua-y blue. And those golds that looked like antique gold to me in that black base now look like a bright, very like vibrant gold. So that was really interesting. I like that. Now we're into the second half of our calendar. So we're in day 14. Let's see. I hope that's only, we only get two thermals. Ooh, that is fun. That's like a fun, like on camera, I feel like these are reading very similar, but this is more like jelly and it's got more green in it than is really picking up on the camera. We've got red and gold, or no, red and yellow hex glitters, as well as red and gold or yellow flaky shards and a big variety of sizes. Definitely, yeah, definitely a jelly. That's pretty. I bet that'll build up nicely because all that different stuff going on will just really give a lot of depth to that jelly. Day number 16. Let's see here. Oh, hell yeah. Oops, I swore on my camera. Um, I try not to swear on this channel. I don't know why, because I swear a lot in real life. Um, I love purples and Cadillacer does some really pretty purples. And this has, it just looks like somebody crushed an ornament. Like it's just shards of sparkles in that perfect purple jelly base. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, I like their brush. It's nice. I, whoa, hold on. That smells so bad. <laughs> it smells like a skunk. Um, but I like that color. Ooh, those colors together look nice too. I still think the orange is my favorite so far. Okay, number 18. Let's see, let's see. They got a good variety of finishes, I feel. We've got two thermals, a shimmer, a couple flaky bombs, a glitter, two glitters actually. Oh, this is minty and that purple in there. This is, I like that. Um, I keep looking at the names, but the names are just the dates, which is so sad for me. That looks, what does that look like? That, there's something out there that is this color, I swear. I love green and purple together and I'm usually not big on like lavender or super light greens, but this combo is really nice. It's got purple hex glitters in there as well as a smattering of really tiny uh, metallic flakes that look like they're flipping green and purple and then some tiny, tiny, tiny purple glitters as well. We have three more. Let's go to day 20. Oh, I didn't even say, but like, it looks like their unit carton. I don't know if they change it pretty frequently, but we've got like snowflakes for the winter here. Whoa, okay. This is probably a similar finish to that. Definitely a very common color flip, this blue green kind of like Aurora look, but I'm here for it. I like it. It's pretty. Day 22, uh-oh, what is it? Oh, it's a magnetic, okay. Let's see here. Okay, this is like a, it's almost, I feel like there's almost a green flip in there, but it's also very bronzy. 
That's pretty striking. It's got like kind of an orange and a green line running through it. I just shook it up really well. Um, this is not my ideal color of a magnetic. I like a super contrasting magnetic. That's just my personal taste, but I will definitely try this on, do a swatch and see, you know, how I feel about it. Cause sometimes I see something in a bottle and I'm just like, ew, I don't like it. And then I get it on my hands and I'm like, okay, wait, I love it. So we'll check that one out. We'll check back on her. And finally, day 24, let's hope it's not a red. Okay, this is very flaky. I think it's reflective. Um, it doesn't say, but I'm really reading, like, tell me what you guys think. I'm pretty sure there's reflective glitter in there. We've got purple shimmer out the butt and a lot of flakies. It's kind of... Um, similar I think these are like the same finish just in different tones so yeah let's take a look at how we did so obviously I I just don't like that one that's not like a mark against Cadillac or I bet if I try it on I'll actually like it it's just not typically my color we did get two thermals which I'm not disappointed by because like I said up top I was aware that thermals were going to be in here. I knew that going in and they're both really pretty. So I'm going to prioritize these and wearing them a couple times before, you know, they start to go. I like these inclusion of these two kind of lighter colors with the glitters in them, the really contrasting glitters. That's what I really like from Cadillac. I think they do a good job of those. And even though this is like a winter advent calendar, I like these variety of colors. I don't like when advent calendars are specifically seasonal colors because I want to wear them all year round. We got two of these more shimmeries and I am obsessed with this. I want to wear this right now. Like I, I want to drink this. It looks like Fanta. Um, let's see. We've got these two of these shimmers i like these these are typically great as more of a topper than anything else but you can build them up in like three coats and still get good coverage so we'll check those out and then we got a couple like glitter flakies and then this kind of wild magnetic so really i just don't love the red and like i'm not obsessed with this particular magnetic and i do have a lot that looks similar to this blue December 20th it's called and obviously I mean I have this purple 10 times over but I like this purple 10 times over so I'm excited about this I'm excited to try more from Cadillac -er via this advent calendar let me know what you guys thought I mean I, this is my first year buying a lot of these uh, indie advents and I didn't want to go I mean I went crazy but I don't want to go too crazy and get the big big box of these and I'm glad I didn't because I feel like I'd be overwhelmed with the amount of polish I have coming in this month. But this advent calendar is actually the one that led me to realizing last year that indie brands do these. And so I was too late last year to pick any of these up. But this year I planned ahead and I was, this was like the first one that I was like, I gotta have it. So what do you guys think? Do you think it was worth the price? Like I said at the beginning, this one was 175. This one was quite expensive. It was the most expensive advent calendar I did buy this season. And as much as I like it, I don't know if if I would particularly pick it up again because it's not like a steal of a deal. If I was going to get, like, I prefer my advent calendars to be like slight discount, you know? I mean, I'm, that's selfish. I know that, but like, I don't know. I am just, I can't stop staring at this orange. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys got this one and did you get like the odds version or the evens version? Did we get the same stuff? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.